Ask Rose. Hi everybody. Rose here with another episode of Ask Rose. And today I want to talk to you about depression. And I'm shooting from my bed because depression often makes us want to stay in bed, right? That's the worst thing you could do, actually. I've got a cough drop in my mouth because of, it's spring and pollen's in the air. I figured you'd much rather hear me talk than cough. So sorry about the cough drop. Anyway, I'm filming in the time of the coronavirus going around, so I'm social distancing and staying inside. And I thought I'd shoot a few shows for you. So this one's about depression. Depression. You might think that depression is feeling sad, and that is a part of it. You might also think that it's uh, not wanting to socialize or get out of bed, hence the bed. <laughs> but depression has many more symptoms that most people are not aware of. So, let's talk about that. For example, depression can make you fatigued, you can have trouble sleeping, staying asleep, or sleeping too much. I personally have trouble sleeping and staying asleep. I never have trouble sleeping too much. I wish I did. Of course, this leads to feeling tired or having very little energy. Another um, symptom of depression is poor appetite. Now, Depression works different ways for different people. Like one person might have a poor appetite, another person might overeat. I'm an overeater. <laughs> um, considerable weight changes happen because of those, either up or down, right? Gotta get comfortable here. Um, other things are like feelings of failure. You have difficulty concentrating, making decisions, you move slowly or speak slowly or, like I said, the opposite, moving around too much. I have that issue. You might have suicidal thoughts. Oh, don't want you to have suicidal thoughts. But there's one thing that's often overlooked and nobody thinks about it as far as depression. Do you know what that is? It's uh, anger. Anger is a symptom of depression. Did you know that? Interesting, right? One might begin by being irritated by small things, people. Also, simple things like breaking something. <laughs> These feelings can easily escalate to outright anger. Have you ever just, for instance, been in the kitchen, you knocked over a glass and spilled something and just Suddenly, it feels like the end of the world. I broke a glass. Okay. I don't, I don't say that. I don't feel like the end of the world, but I'm angry about it. Do you get angry about that? Well, that's a sign of depression. Crazy, right? I don't mean crazy like cuckoo. I mean like crazy the way that happens. Anyway. Depression can be caused by hereditary tissue, meaning it's in your DNA can also be caused by a, um, my dog just walked in. It can also be called by, caused by a chemical imbalance. Or you may be just having a bad time in your life, like a death, a divorce, or a loss of employment. Um, also, it can be caused from childhood traumas, um, having an overbearing parent, or a narcissistic parent or a parent that didn't validate your feelings. That's pretty common. Or, or a parent that coddled you. So, childhood traumas. They're all childhood traumas. They seem innocent, but they can all cause depression in your adult life. So, now that we understand depression, let's talk about ways to naturally overcome it, shall we? All right, if you don't know me by now, I'm quite the natural gal. I don't like pills, prescription pills, and I don't do anything illegal, if you get my drift. I'm a natural gal, okay? If you've ever watched my other show, No Filter, 
my co-host and I went through a list of supplements that I use daily, and I'll post a link to that show down below. And you can watch it. There's also another show on how to have a happy life that might help you too, and I'll post that link as well. But here we are. Here's some other ways for you to overcome depression. Get into a routine. Get up the same time every morning. Practice meditation and yoga or read a book, listen to a book. I listen to books. Um, watch something inspiring on YouTube. Anyway, a routine gives you control over your environment, which makes you feel safe, which helps you overcome that depression. It makes you feel better. Okay? Exercise. Exercise has been proven to raise your endorphins. Endorphins feel good. Not only is it great for your body, it's great for your mind. I believe in total wellness. The mind and the body work together, always. If your mind is healthy, your body will be healthy. If your body is healthy, your mind will be healthy. It's a complete circle. Okay. Eat healthy food. Yeah, I said eat healthy food. It means your fruits, your vegetables, lean meats. Kick out the junk food. The junk food or processed foods, things that come in a box, not good for you. They, they usually are processed carbs and have sugar in them. I'm talking vegetables, lean meats, fruits, and lots of water. Your body needs lots of water to maintain good function, which again, affects your mind. Okay. Number four, set goals for yourself. Take baby steps each day to reach those goals. And it will help you feel like you have achieved something towards that goal, which will give you the feeling of happiness. Releases the endorphins again. We want that dopamine. Get as much sleep as possible, even if that means going to bed an hour or two earlier than you're used to doing. I know. I know. But if you get up earlier, you inevitably will go to bed earlier. You want to get into your circadian rhythm. That's important for your mindness, your mind wholeness, and your total body wellness. Okay? Take on responsibilities. Get involved in your community. Volunteer. Help someone else. Do you know that you, if you take your mind off yourself and you help someone else, guess what happens? You forget your problems. You also begin to realize that I'm not the only one with problems and my problem may not be as bad as the person I'm helping. That helps you a lot. Trust me on this. Socialize. Get out of your bed. Get out. Socialize, be around others. This is important. It usually helps you to see that everyone has problems in their lives and maybe you can help. I personally love nature, alone or with others. Nature has a way of relieving stress and anxiety. Go to the beach, take a hike. In nature, ride your bike, right? Get out of bed, it's important. Take a class, number eight, take a class. Learn something new. You don't have to take a class. You can go on YouTube and find out just about anything you might be interested in. And there's a video for it. So learn something new every day. It makes you feel good about you. Be creative. Number nine, be creative. Explore your latent talents. Do you know that we're all given gifts? Some of us have a lot more than others. But that just means that you haven't tapped in to your potential. Maybe you're good at art or drawing. Maybe you're good at playing the guitar or singing or songwriting or writing a book. Have you ever tried? Be creative. Be creative and don't judge yourself if it's not great. Because you know what? Practice makes perfect. So just be creative and let that part of your mind flow. Again, dopamine release. Okay, number 10. Challenge your negative thoughts by immediately turning a negative thought into a positive. Do you know that we have 70,000 thoughts a day that are negative? Yeah. Why is it so easy to be negative? Well, that's a whole nother show. Won't go into that. But you can take every negative thought and turn it around and make it positive. Okay? 
and don't talk about yourself in a downturn. Don't 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 be negative about yourself. Don't say I'm fat. Say I'm healthy. I'm healthy. I'm at my perfect weight. That's what I mean. Also, and I touched on this earlier. Pray. Meditate. Whatever you believe that you're praying to, you must have a belief in a higher power, a supreme being, someone greater than yourself, someone who has a plan for your life. And you have to get in touch with that person. For me, it's God. I'm a Christian, and I pray in Jesus' name. I, 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 um, I'd like to advise you to find out who God is if you don't know already. Okay? Do that. You won't regret it. Okay? So pray and meditate. Having a complete and whole life begins with a belief that there is something greater than yourself. Faith moves mountains. Believing a God who is ultimate supreme being and that he loves you is amazing. Now, I got one more bonus for you, but I'm going to have to go get her. So, cut for a moment. This is Lulu. <laughs> I was going to say, last but not least, if you can, get a pet. A pet can make a huge difference in your life. If you're lonely, I'm lonely. And also, a pet will encourage you to get out and take a walk. If it's a dog, I guess. Or you could take your iguana. I've seen that before. Um, anyway, if you're lonely and you can get a pet, do it. Go rescue one. Don't go buy one. Go rescue one. There's plenty of shelters that need people to come get animals that have been dropped off by mean people. Don't be a mean people, okay? <laughs> All right, so that's it for now. Lulu and I signing off. We love y'all. This has been Ask Rose number three, depression and how to overcome it. Bye.